Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People. And today, we'll be reviewing some Star Wars, plus some almost 12-inch figures. But first, we're going to look at the Star Wars, because this is some old-school Star Wars figures that have passed. Their series have already, the movies for these figures and vehicles have already passed. First on the list, we got ourselves a Black Series Snowtrooper from Solo. And yeah, I love Snowtroopers. I really do. This is my third Snowtrooper I've ever gotten. I don't have his original gun, so I gave him this gun I had from a vintage Star Wars figure from, like, Kenner. But articulation, this thing's got really good articulation, even though it can't go back that far due to this skirt. Arms are on a full hinge joint, which is nice. He's even got a little, his head is on a ball joint. I love that. His arms do a full rotation. That's what I was meaning about that. <laughs> oh, some correction moments here, I do admit. But yeah, he is a cool looking six inch Black Series figure. And I've never had a six inch Black Series figure here on this channel until today. And this is a good looking one. So glad to have it and so glad to finally review it. Next on the list, we got the good old U-Wing Starfighter from Rogue One. It's Rogue One. I couldn't help it. <laughs> and yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. The wings were bent out of shape when I got this, so a family, a new member of the family fixed it with an iron, an easy fix. But when you push this back with the U-Wing on this switch, the wings do that. Ain't that awesome? The ship converts. Wings change into that formation. Kind of like the X-Wing of old, if you know what I mean. I don't have any X-Wing in my collection right now, but that is so cool. So cool. And I do have a figure in this cockpit. Because what's a U-Wing without a figure to pilot it? So I put in one of my favorite characters, and this is my Star Wars Resistance Tora Dozen, because she her color scheme matches with the U-Wing. And I figured, why not? She looks kind of cute. Cute with this ship. And her colors match up with this legendary ship of awesomeness, if I do say so myself. And that's most of everything that the U-Wing does. It does have a missile shooter, but it's stuck. So I can't show that off, really. I can't show it off because it's busted. Stuck. But next, we're going to look at the other figures we got to review. We got a Power Ranger and a couple Marvel figures. I'm going to raise the tripod a bit. And we're going to look at our figures one by one. Let's start with our Marvel Thanos. But first, we're going to look at his box. It's from Dollar General, and it says Thanos. And some nice Marvel insignia stuff inside the box and here we got a nice picture of Thanos and a bio if you want to read about Thanos but all I need to know about Thanos he is the Titan and he wants to eliminate half the world with his infinity gauntlet and his infinity stones which is gauntlet does have the infinity stones which is nice Articulation, you don't get a lot on this figure. Not a lot of articulation for this guy, I will admit. So, that's Thanos for you. 
Next, we got Iron Patriot here. So we're going to lower the camera. We got our boy Iron Patriot. Before we look at Iron Patriot, let's look at the box. It says Iron Patriot, more insignias for Marvel. Why not? Hasbro. It says four plus up there. Why not? And Marvel. And a nice picture of Iron Patriot artwork and a bio if you want to read it. But yeah, Iron Patriot soars through the sky fighting evil. Iron Patriot vows to combat to and all that. A lot to stuff to read, but he flies through the sky just like Iron Man. Why not? That's all you need to know about him. But he also, also took on the extremises in Iron Man 3, the movie, with Tony Stark, of all things. But yeah, it's a nice looking Iron Man repaint. The head is on a ball joint, which is nice, a tight ball joint, but still. Arms can do a full 360. No hinges. Really shame with this almost 12-inch figure. There's no hinges on the, on the legs or anything. But we'll make a nice, good display figure. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And the last almost 12-inch figure, we got Power Rangers. Yellow Ranger. Ages 4 plus. Beast Morphers. Power Rangers, Beast Morphers. And the Yellow Ranger from Beast Morpher, she's got the power of the of the mighty Jack Rabbit. Why not? She's got the power of the Rabbit, so she can go Rabbit kick, punch, kick, kick, and Rabbit punch, 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 because she's a Ranger with attitude. Yeah, head is on a ball joint. Not much articulation though. Arms can do a full 360. No hinge joints at all on these figures. Are these almost 12 inch figures worth the money from your local Dollar General? Well, yeah, they're kind of cool looking. And I've been collecting these for a little while now, and I think they're kind of cool. Even knowing their articulation is not as good as 12-inch figures. And I really dig the paint, the sculpting on these figures. They are worth the money. That's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Whoop. Whoop, my bad. I knocked it, knocked it free. My tripod is a bit at the stand busted a little bit. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.